Today's project is Angel Wings. Hi hey folks, Jonathan here, another carving today. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make some angel wings. These are made from pine. Uh, 16 inches high, 7 inches wide. Nice little Christmas present slash decoration. I'm going to make this out of a regular piece of pine. Then we're going to get image transferred onto it and then carve it out. Now, I went online, found some good uh, uh, wing images. This is the one I've selected. I'm not sure if that will come up. Yeah, I've just printed out. I'm going to use the uh, laser printer cellulose center transfer method, which uh, you'll see in a sec. But you don't actually need to use it. If you want, you can find your image, blow it up, just glue that straight onto the board, and cut it out that way. Anyhow, uh, hope you enjoy watching it. Alright, there's the first stencil done out. I've used the laser jet uh, cellulose thinner transfer method. This only works with a laser jet. And then you can use cellulose or acetone thinners to transfer the image. Pretty simple. Okay, now I'm going to cut these out and get them on the scroll saw. Okay, so now we got these two bad boys cut out. Alright, now with these, I don't follow the lines exactly. It's, uh, it's good to change it up just a little bit. But, so what I'll do now is I'm going to take the Dremel and maybe uh, a knife, do some cut lines along there. And then I'm going to try to layer these feathers and see how it looks. And then I'll round off the edges as well before I apply heat. Okay, so the first bit I'm going to use is this. Uh, just a wood burr bit. But if you notice, it's got a slight trapezoid shape. When I'm carving into there, I want to give a good outline to the figure. And I'm going to start with that one and we'll see how we go. Okay, that's number one. Get an idea of how that's looking. Uh, now I know some of you find this strange. But now I'm going to burn it. 
The reason I like to burn it is because it really brings out uh, more grain. I'm not going to burn it too heavy, but I'm going to char it. A couple reasons for this. A, it gets rid of all these little burrs, uh, smooths it out, adds some more texture, and it reduces the amount of time I have to spend sanding. going to be painted, people aren't going to see the black in it. All right, now we have a black angel's ring. What I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a wire wheel to get that off. Uh, so we have heated it, so you need to be careful with this. If this falls, there's a very good chance it will all just break. Don't be surprised if you do get a little bit of cracking in it, that's perfectly normal. So that's going to have given it a pretty good effect, but it's going to make it quite rough too. I want it to be a little smoother, so I'm going to use one of these. Uh, Abracus, get them from, I don't know, I got this from Amazon. And this is a nylon wheel. Uh, it does the same thing as the brass wheel, but it's not quite as aggressive. And it does take out some of the... Uh, uh, some of the worst marks from the uh, brass wheel because it does scratch it a bit. Alright, so that's done. I'm going to try to see if you can see each of those lines represents uh, a raised section of it so it's going to have a really nice texture uh, when it's all done and painted. I'm going to give this a couple coats of a uh, um, white gloss and you can have a look again okay and that's it so now I've gotten four spray coats on there nice texture still a bit wet there's number one there's number two simple little angel wings here's a, another set I did slightly different shape Still with some really good texture. Don't mind the color, that's just the base coat. There's the two. Yeah, these are a very simple project. Go online, find an image you like, print it out. You don't have to use the <clears throat> laser inkjet transfer that I used. If you want, you can just take that paper, glue it right to the board, cut it out, and then carve away. Hope you liked it. Uh, hope you found that informative. Thanks for watching.